Hey everyone, John Scott here with CBS Sports draft expert Chris Trapasso as we begin to really look back at what the Bills did over the weekend for good or for bad. And let's start with their first selection, it coming 54 overall in the second round in Iowa edge rusher A.J. Epinesa. The first qu question, Chris, is why do you believe he fell all the way down to the Bills midway through the second round? I think this was 100% about his combine that uh, every evaluator I spoke to and just my own evaluation, I mean, across the board before the combine, AJ Epinesa was a first round pick. I mean, the production that he had in two seasons at Iowa, 2018, he was a part-time player, had 10 and a half sacks, um, and then up those sack numbers to 11 and a half uh, in his final season. Then he just had a combine that was not good for an edge rusher. But if you place him at defensive tackle, it actually was a good combine. I didn't think he was going to fall all the way to 54. I don't really think anybody did. But it was not about his on-field play or any character concerns. It was strictly combine-based. So is that valid, Chris, the fact that people are concerned that he will not be athletic enough to be as productive off the edge at the NFL level? Yeah, I think if you're strictly placing him at the edge rusher spot, he is a average at best athlete. But we have to remember, he's 6'5 and 275. So there's not a lot of players that big at the edge rusher position that are superb athletes. Um, but even for that size, there's other players um, that can measure up with him that tested better. But again, if you're using him at defensive tackle in obvious passing situations on third down, then we're talking about a high-end athlete for the defensive tackle spot. And I think with how much Sean McDermott likes to rotate his defensive linemen and use them at different positions, um, I think that's what the Bills will ultimately do. So on the edge, he's not going to threaten very much with his athleticism. He can do a lot of other things with his handwork and his strength. But on the inside against guards and centers, I think that's where he'll really thrive right away as a pass rusher. So what type of floor and what type of ceiling are we talking about here with A.J. Epinesa? I think his floor is Shaq Lawson. Uh, similar type of player that strong, sturdy, is going to set a good edge, can get off blocks in the run game, dealt with a lot of high-powered running attacks in the Big Ten, is not going to be easily moved off the football, can give you some pass rush around the edge. Um, I think he's better with his hands than Shaq Lawson was. And actually, my comparison – for A.J. Epinesa before the uh, draft was Zadarius Smith of the Green Bay Packers, who really had a defensive player of the year type season with the Packers. And what was important, going from the Baltimore Ravens to the Green Bay Packers, they moved him around the formation. They had him standing up as a blitzer over the A-gap. They let him rush from the outside on occasion, let him play inside. It's all about moving this type of player with the size the length and the pass rushing moves that he has all around the formation. AJ Epinesa was 26th on your final big board. So getting him at 54 definitely is a fantastic value for the bills. We'll have more with Chris throughout the week, but for now I'm John Scott.